This is Craig with Karshalton Advisory. In this video, we're going to go through the practice tasks for Objective 1-5 of the Excel 2016 Core Exam. Let's get started. We're going to begin by opening up the 1-5A workbook. Now that it's open, we need to open the Sales Category Worksheet, which is the only one in this book. And we want to set a print area so that only cells A1 through C42 print. So what we're going to do is we're going to highlight the cells that we're interested in printing. At least this is how I do it. So I have all of those cells highlighted now. We're going to go into our page layout and print area on our ribbon. Once we've selected print area, we're going to go ahead and select our print area. So that that, that is the only area of the worksheet that's going to be printed. So if I was to enter some data to the right of it, or uh, below what we have selected here, those would not show up on our uh, workbook uh, or on our printed page at least. Next, what we need to do is to uh, configure page setup so that the option, so that uh, the grid lines uh, are going to be printed on our page. Normally, these these gray grid lines that are on our worksheet, when I were if I were to print, and in fact, if we go to print preview right now. Um, if we go to print preview and take a look at the sheet here, you'll see that we see the text that was part of uh, the worksheet, but there are no grid lines. So what I'm going to hit escape to, to exit out of that. Uh, and so what we're going to do is we're going to set it up so that the grid lines get printed. We'll go into page layout. We're going to set up by hitting this uh, arrowed box in the bottom right hand corner. Once we're on here, we're going to select the sheet. And in this case, we are going to select grid lines. Now that grid lines are selected, let's hit print preview again. And now when we see this, the grid lines that are within the print area that we set up in the first step are now going to show up on our printed page. So it's just not going to, or it's not going to just be uh, the data that's been entered. It'll also print the, the background as well. So that was our third step, was to uh, display the print preview of that worksheet. Now, I want to show you something else while we're in here, because uh, I don't think that this uh, example has gone into enough depth for what I think is beneficial for most Excel users to use. So I'm going to show you one other thing here really quick. Um, excuse me here while I get this set up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to copy all of the data here, because as it stands right now, um, it is uh, just enough to, uh, one second here, I just got to copy this. Um, and then I'm going to paste this at the bottom. And we'll do it one more time here. All right, so now when I go to print preview, it's going to show here's my first page with the grid lines. Uh, and it's the only page that's actually being printed because of the print area that we've set. So let's go back. Now we're going to go into page uh, and we're going to clear the print area. Now Excel is usually smart enough that if there's no data in an area, it's not going to print it by default. So if we go into page setup again, look at our print preview. And we look at here's page one. We can see at the bottom here that we're page one of three. Page one, we see our data. Page two, if I scroll down, is also our data. And page three is, all is again, some more data for us. Uh, now, there's an extra column here that we probably wouldn't want to have normally. But the, one of the things I've noticed here is that, well, there's no headings on this page. Uh, in this case, it's pretty obvious. But in some of the charts or tables that we're going to print, it may not always be such. So we can fix that by going into our page setup dialog box. So I'll show you one thing really quickly here. So this option here where it says rows to repeat at top. Um, so what we're going to do is highlight this first row. And now what will happen, I'm going to set my print area again. Um, we did it a, a, a different way previously. In this case, inside page setup, we can go to print area. If I hit this arrow here, I can now highlight the area that I want to be printed. So there is the area here that we want, and I can click OK. Now, if we want to see that, 
there'll be two things that'll happen here. One, there's still going to be three pages like before, but this cat this at the top here. So this category name and sales is now, I've gone to page two here, you can see, is also showing at the top. So that is a very handy feature I find in Excel uh, that allows you to have whatever your header was, or even if you have columns on the left-hand side, uh, like row names, that no matter how many pages you print, they're always going to show up so you know what this data is uh, when it gets printed and handed out. Uh, that's all for the first video here for this practice task. Stay tuned and we will get the part two video up for you shortly. Thanks for watching. This was Craig with Carshalton Advisory.